Asian and local firms fill void as multinationals exit Nigeria. As US and European countries exit Nigeria, Asian and local firms are stepping in. Last week, it was reported that Diego sold its stake in Guinness Nigeria to Singapore's Tolaram Group. Local firm Forney Group is now operating a diaper plant where Procter and Gamble once had a $300 million facility, despite having over 200 million people, making Nigeria a potentially massive market for consumer goods, rampant unemployment, poverty, insecurity, a plummeting currency, and high inflation have driven many multinationals away. Reports indicate that the Naira has dropped 56% against the dollar in the past year, making it difficult for companies to import goods and service debts. Analysts suggest that the gaps left by departing companies offer opportunities for those sourcing raw materials locally, like Toleram and Hyatt. It was noted that Toleram has 24 fully integrated plants in Nigeria and produces most of its raw materials locally. Despite these strategies, local firms still face significant challenges. MBO Capital, which took over ShopRite supermarkets, acknowledges the same difficulties as foreign companies but cannot leave the market. Pitsin is reportedly exporting to several West African countries and aims to expand further. The exodus of firms like Kimberly Clark and Sanofi is said to hinder President Bola Tinubu's efforts to revive the economy. However, Toleram's $70 million purchase of the Guinness stake is seen by some as a vote of confidence in Nigeria's economy. Toleram reportedly believes in Nigeria's potential, citing its large population and essential needs. Despite the challenges, it is suggested that opportunities remain for companies that adapt and localize operations. To read on these and more, visit www.businessday.ng.